All right, so we want now to cross over to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. We understand that uh, uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi, who's the... All right, I understand that uh, Najib Balala, the uh, CS for Tourism, is currently addressing um, the members of the press and the guests there. Remember that today the six ministries are set to sign an um, MOU on the airport service charter. Let's just cross over there and listen in. The second thing is that it's very clear now the hierarchy and the chain of command. Johnny Anderson, you have taken responsibility. We will hold you responsible because you are the boss here. These colleagues of ours must realign to the chain of command because it's not about a process. It's about deliverables. If we don't deliver, then we have failed. And as James told us here, this cannot be failed cannot be allowed to fail because it's so much strategic interest to the government, the sector plus our visitors, both tourists, both business people, anybody who comes into the country creates life for our people. There are four fundamental areas we need to focus. I know you are going to look at many. The key one is migration services. The second one is customs. The third one is management of baggage. And the fourth one, and many more maybe are there, is security and safety of the passenger. Those are key, and they must be looked at seriously. And then the final one, is the infrastructure itself, is it appealing to the image of the destination? Because the first point of entry is Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, is the airport. If we don't do it right, then what happens behind the airport might be very messy. My final uh, uh, point, we have developed under Utali College a customer relations and a customer care curriculum is finalized. We are going to hand it over to you and our colleagues in Notali College. Your committee should verify and endorse that curriculum. And then you create a roster. Every public servant at this airport must go through that train. By 1st of January, if nobody is certified to do that training and examined, he will not be allowed to work at this airport because he will be disqualified for that customer service. So, when I see you, that is what we needed to be done. And if you fail in that customer service, the examiners will recommend you are not fit to be at the airport. You should be deployed to another place, but not at the face of Kenya. So, mine is to thank my colleagues. This is a very important agenda of government, and we are committed, all of us, and we believe all of you here are able and capable, and we are not going to let the country down. So mine is to thank you, and I take the opportunity to, again, return my, the mic to James Machari. Thank you very much, uh, CS uh, Balala. Now, Two of the key st stakeholders in this, uh, this airport is police and immigration. And for us, this is very important because um, of late, we have had issues about um, uh, airlines which have, been, which have been licensed, but they are actually carrying out illegal activities. You've read for yourselves about uh, about it in terms of making sure that the culprits are put to book. And that's why we shall be requesting support from CS uh, Matiani and uh, Chief Inspector Boynet to make sure that these people who are carrying out illegal activities are grabbed and put in because they can spoil the good work of you people. And so 
uh, we shall be collaborating with the uh, agencies concerned, uh, especially after signing of this charter. And now let me welcome my colleague uh, CS Matian to make his remarks. Um, my brothers, uh, CS uh, James Masharia, uh, Najib, and uh, my brother Cleopa Mailu, and all of you are my fellow Kenyans and role players at various levels across the spectrum of responsibility. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. I will be brief and straight to the point. In addition to what my two colleagues have said, the two agencies that concern us in the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government are one, the National Police Service. The Inspector General of Police, Mr. Boynet, is here and is seated at the back. The next one is the Immigration Services. The Director General of Immigration Services, General Kialangwa, is here, and the team from the Immigration Services. Um, I prefer to be uh, this blunt and candid. The time, because all of us, both those who are in this room and people out there, know what the right thing is and the right thing that must be done. It is time for all of us to understand one thing. This airport is an important resource to our country. And we are not doing it for anyone. We are doing it for ourselves. This is our airport. This is our country. We want to serve our country. What happens here, the revenue that comes to our country as a result of the activities of this airport is revenue that comes to our country. That is why I would like to sincerely ask all of us to be a bit more serious about the things we are doing here. And for us, I want to pledge to my colleagues and to all of you who are going to collaborate with us in signing this charter this morning, that our two agencies, the National Police Service, the Directorate of Immigration Services, we will up our game. I have had extensive discussions with the Inspector General of Police on what we are going to do with the Kenya Airport Police Unit. I don't need to discuss those things here. We have agreed on what we are going to do. We are going to change it. And my colleagues in the police service who work in Kapu, it's true, as Najib says, it's not going to be business as usual. We want to sort this thing out. And look, we will supervise this ourselves as the ministers. We will supervise this as ourselves. Because we cannot tell stories about important things we need to do for our country. There is nothing more important than fixing the airport, than fixing the things that we need to fix around. And we cannot tell stories about things we can do very easily because we all need to know what needs to be done. I want to urge our colleagues uh, in immigration services, our colleagues in the National Police Service, that those internal discussions we have had among us ourselves, it is time for us to implement the things we have done. Let us be candid and sincere with each other. If you cannot do the work we need done, it's OK. We can get someone else who can do the work we need done. We have to make sure that this airport changes completely and the services that are offered here change completely. Number two, I think I want to be very candid with our colleagues in KA. We are giving you the responsibility to coordinate all of us. A lot is required of you. We will demand and we are going to ask very specific questions. Johnny, you must deliver. And the, and the board of KA who are here, please look at your capacities and staff up. If there are certain challenges you have in your capacities, there are plenty of Kenyans. We have enough people around here to change what we need to change in this place. Let's not make excuses. I mean, we would not like to take excuses. We can't hire. All right, so we'll get the latest details uh, from our reporters who are attending that uh, function at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. But we have some unfortunate news this morning, and we understand that uh, Yvonne Wamalwa, who is... Uh, the wife of the late Kijana Wamalwa has uh, passed on. We've just gotten this news right now. Some breaking news, unfortunate news coming through that Yvonne Wamalwa is uh, dead. And that has been confirmed by her family. And we understand that this happened. Though we do not know what exactly happened, um, hopefully we'll be able to get the information, more information about her demise here on KTN News. But unfortunate news coming to us that Yvonne uh, Wamalwa has 
passed away. And uh, of course, uh, if you remember, Yvonne Wamala came to the limelight uh, after the passing of uh, the late uh, Kijana Wamalwa. And that's the time that the country got to know uh, much about her uh, back in 2003. And uh, she was uh, his wife. And um, a really unfortunate news coming through that has been confirmed by her family. And we'll be getting the latest uh, information uh, for you here on KTN News. Uh, remember that after the death of uh, her husband, she was appointed as the Deputy Permanent Representative of Kenya to the United Nations Habitat Offices here in Nairobi. She held quite a number of uh, diplomatic positions. That one was one of them as the uh, Deputy Permanent Representative of Kenya to the United Nations Habitat Offices here in Nairobi. And after three years, she was appointed as the Deputy High Commissioner of Kenya to Australia. That is also another uh, position that uh, she held. We know for a fact that Yvonne and the late Kijana Omalwa had uh, children. One was, was Michelle Chichi, who was very young, if you remember, at the time that Omalwa passed away. And that was the youngest child, Michelle Chichi. And the eldest, Derek Mboya, um, is also a, a son to uh, the late uh, Yvonne Wamalwa right now and uh, Kijano Wamalwa. All right, so we'll be getting the latest details of this unfortunate um, event or, uh, we, but, and we'll be able to give you the latest information with regard to just what happened. Um, but of course, we condole with the family of Yvonne Wamalwa. So we want to uh, wind up News Centre this morning, but don't worry, my colleague Lofty Matambo is coming in to continue with our coverage in Kiswahili, and I'm sure by that time we'll be able to have more information about this breaking news. For now, though, we back, uh, we'll take you back to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and continue to follow through with what's happening there. Remember, like I mentioned, uh, six ministries are set to sign an MOU on the airport service charter today, and we just want to cross back there. Uh, Fred Matiangi um, is currently addressing the guest there. We'll see you again tomorrow. Till then, be blessed. On my own behalf and on behalf of my colleagues, the Ministry of Interior, we will give this our best because it's very important to all of us and time is here to ensure that we do the right thing. My parting words are this. Colleagues, we need to change our attitude as citizens of this country and public servants. Much of what we desire to do will be achieved if we actually changed our attitude. We are not doing this for anyone. We are doing this for our country. We must have that collective responsibility, feeling, and attitude. When you take bribes, if you're working in customs, when you obstruct fellow Kenyans who are coming back into the country and make it look like it's a crime to travel, you are hurting our country. When you frustrate a visitor, when you speak rudely to a visitor, when you take forever to assist people, you are hurting our country and you are hurting all of us. If we change our attitude and approach this differently, we will do better and we will achieve a lot for our country. God has been so gracious to us and blessed us with a great country and a great people, and we have the resources we need to be even greater than we are. So let's put all our effort with utmost sincerity in this. Change our attitude and perform better and do better things and be proud of the achievements we will make collectively together as a group uh, for our country to the honor and glory of God. So I wish as well as we move forward and once again pledge our commitment. We will give it our best shot, I promise you. And for sure, I promise you from our agencies in interior, you will see real change. Thank you. So I think we've all had uh, the commitments from my colleagues and everybody else. And so Johnny, it's over to you. Yeah. But let me also confirm, I just been told by the DG, uh, that issue about uh, airlines operating illegal activities, two have been grounded this morning. That's what we want to hear action. Whenever we commit to ourselves, we have to follow it up with action. And uh, DG, I'm happy that that has happened. And whoever else is doing it, make sure action is taken without any delay and any mercy. Uh, Johnny, over to you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, CS. Thank you so much, CSS. Um, message clear. Crystal clear. For all of us here, this is about delivery. And we are all in it together. The airport authority, the regulator, the airlines, immigration, customs, we are all in this together. So the direction has been given, and it's now for us to deliver on those things. I would now like to, to invite the CSS to uh, sign the Memorandum of Understanding. And if I may, uh, I would like to invite CS Mashaya first for him to sign the Memorandum of Understanding. CS, please. And we do it all together, yes, we do all together. Anaongea. Na hichi kiti mbona changuka? Ah. Uh, 